Hey, I'm Infamous George, but you can call me George, and today we have another sort of mods video, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to have top five mods of the week, and then either a sub video on the Thursday, which I really need to do, uh, which is either, I don't know, mods specifically to one thing, or something else to do with Skyrim, um, and then make the weekend other videos like you've seen recently, the Dream Team and the other series that I had. <clears throat> so this is the top five mods of the week and let's get right into the video shall we? The first mod we have is Dovahkiin Keep. What this is is it adds a new keep in to Skyrim, or a new, it's a player home, I said I was going to do a mod for one of these, um, I'm assuming that there's supposed to be uh, some NPC there that sells stuff, but because uh, of the no custom assets thing, that can't be implemented, so on the outside you can see that we've got a nice um, sort of smithing area with some swords and stuff, and bows, and armour, and shields, and we're going to edit we're going to enter the uh, armor. Now this player home is massive. So this is the first of two armories that are in this um, that are in this keep. As you can see there's a load of mannequins in here. It definitely if you want to show off some armor, this is definitely the place to put it. Um, definitely a place that you want to put your armor. This is the second armory, which honestly is absolutely humongous. It's ridiculous. You got some chests in here to store some weapons or armor configurations. Let's say you got a configuration for going out and hunting dragons. Then you got a stealthy configuration. Then you got a I don't give a fuck uh, configuration. Um, that type of thing. Now, when entering the main part of the keep, now this is where you walk through those two big doors at the front of the uh, at the front of the building. You can see there's loads of flags here, and then obviously your throne. As the Dovahkiin, this is your throne. Uh, it also puts one of those um, I can't remember what they're called, but it's where you get all the dragon masks, the dragon priest masks, and you put them onto the thing, and it unlocks something for you. Uh, when we move in, I don't think I actually went into the barracks, so that you can explore that yourself. Got an enchanting area, an alchemy area, and some bookshelves. Um, down in the basement, there is sort of a storage area, I suppose you could call it, and another smithing area, which we'll be, we will come back to for another mod that I'm going to show you after this one. On this level, I suppose you could call this sort of a study and a library, as you can see there's loads of bookshelves here, and there's this nice little cosy area with a desk and some other bookshelves, and some sh there are some shrines in here, so you've got the Shrine of Nocturnal, which I do use, yep, yeah. and then there's the shrines in the bookcase just over there, if you saw them. There is a bedroom to the side, now again, I'm not sure whether this NPC thing was supposed to be a thing, but... I assume that would have been sort of your guards quarters or like uh, stewards quarters or something. Um, and then here we got your keep with a nice big dragon skull above your bed. I don't know why I decided to search the wardrobe, just don't ask. Um, nice big double bed. There are some weapon racks and some armor racks up here and some general storage. Then, uh, with this being the keep from Riften, if no one knows this is um, the keep format from Riften, this is the... Um, sort of balcony view I suppose you could call it from the top of the keep. This next mod we have is called Complete Smithing. Now what this mod does is it literally adds every single type of smithing you could ever want. So say you wanted to craft some ebony mail. That ah, that's done. I'm going through all this now so per penentius ocular I don't know how to pronounce that. You can now craft that armor. You can now craft Dawnguard armor and Dawnguard weapons. Why wasn't this a thing in the original game? Forsworn. Head, you can craft a headsman's axe. Uh, I, at the time, thought that was new, but it's obviously not. Uh, further down we go, there's nothing new within steel. Um, you can now craft Thieves' Guild armor. You can now craft all this stuff, which is... 
Amazing, absolutely amazing. You can now craft the vampire armor, including the Vulcan the Vulcanha. Volkaha. See, and in Dwarven, you can see that we can now craft all the Dawnguard heavy armor. Um, is there anything else? I can't remember if there's anything else here. Uh, no, there isn't. Oh, steel weapons. I just went over that. The Dawnguard uh, clothes for Nazir, I think his name is. And then we got the light Dawnguard armor as well as the Jester's clothes from the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, nothing in Orkish. In Ebony, we've got the Blades armor. Uh, the Blade Sword as well, you can craft them. The Ebony armor. Something new here is the Ebony Katana, which is the Ebony Blade, but you can now craft that yourself. Ebony Mail. You can now craft Nightingale. So, yeah, this mod just allows you. Uh, it just allows you to make armors that you were not able to make before and I think it's a good mod for people that are wanting to I don't know get something they can't get normally so the thieves guild armor for example this next mod shows off two mods which is called deadly draugr of skyrim and then a bio lens a kill move mod as you can see just there uh, what the uh, Deadly Draugr of Skyrim does is unleashes loads of Draugr into Skyrim. Loads. I mean, just look at them. <laughs> so it's a le fun little mod if you want to go around and start doing stuff and like experiencing and doing stuff within Skyrim. It is a bit ridiculous as well. But the other mod that I'm showcasing here is. Violence kill move mod. What this does is it adds all kill moves possible. So unarmed kill moves, one ar uh, one handed kill move, kill moves, uh, two handed kill moves. Um, it puts them all together when you're fighting, and also increases the chance of you having a kill move. Now, personally, I like having kill moves. I think they're just probably the badass thing you could ever have in Skyrim. But it only works when there's one enemy left and you've killed that enemy so therefore it really doesn't it was a mod that I actually wanted to have as well so that is one of the mods and as you can see here that the amount of Draugr here is just absolutely ridiculous <laughs> um, also I'm using the ebony katana from the previous mod which I decided to make after because I thought it's a katana let's fucking have it um, so it also adds new Draugr into Skyrim. I think they're battle mages, and as you can see just there is a Behemoth, which is um, obviously taking something from Fallout, I think, there. Um, which is just basically an enlarged... Um, Draugr. This next mod we have is a pretty funny, ho uh, pretty funny mod if you want to sort of have fun with this mod or have fun in Skyrim. This mod is called Mini Horses Mod and well you can see why it's called Mini Horses Mod. It literally shrinks the size of horses to make them tiny. Make them like a cat sort of size. I think it's quite a fun mod. I quick saved here just to make sure that um, I didn't get a bounty or something. But when you, <laughs> when you ride on them it's quite funny however you don't travel as far as you would on a normal horse, so it really just kind of dictates the whole idea. And, well, it's a fun mod to have because you're like glitched into the ground and you're riding some little horse. But you don't, I wouldn't advise it as sort of a mod to get around and stuff. I would just advise it as sort of a funny mod to, I don't know, record and just take the piss out of a horse or something. As you can see, it does not work with all horses. It only works with the horses you can actually buy. Uh, Shadowmere, same size. Um, other horses that have been added into the game by mods, for example. Uh, the previous mod showcase I did for improving Skyrim adds two horses to Whiterun. And they're named so they cannot be changed. As you can see here, this one hasn't been changed as well. So it only works with the ones you can buy from the stable hands. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe 
as there will be more mod review videos, top t top five, whatever. I will probably do it every single week. I'm not sure, but there'll definitely be that chance. If you like this video as well, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I've been George.